food is not just calories. Food is information. It talks to your DNA and it tells it what to do. The most potent force to change your environment, to change your health, and your entire world actually lies in your fork. Those are the words of Dr. Mark Amen. My name is Fashion Tolani, your at nutrition just media queen from the Savage Line. And this is the health, lifestyle, and nutrition segment of the Morning Ride Show. Okay, so we have put the milk and dairy series to rest. So now we are starting a fresh new series today. And that is one major topic that people have always asked, when are you going to talk about this matter? Okay, it is time. And I bet this is going to be a series too, and it's going to stretch, you know, a little, maybe two, three weeks. But I assure you, you would enjoy the old ride. We are talking about weight loss, the journey into losing weight, how to lose weight, when, how do you go about it, why should you even lose weight? I mean, and the first thing is, who even told you that you are overweight? So first of all, let us explain that uh, weight is excessive amassion. I mean, overweight, I beg your pardon, or obesity is excessive amassion of fats around the body in such a way that the health of that individual that has the fats, you know, around his body, the health begins to be at risk or the health is compromised. At that point, we say that person is overweight and obese. The different types of obesity, the different types of overweight, we have the pear-shaped overweight. The pear-shaped overweight is the beauty overweight, where especially for females, the, the fat is more deposited around the hips than, you know, around the bust. They call it the, you know, <laughs> the beauty shape. I think men find it interesting or attractive. But then the other type of shape is the the apple shape this is where you have more fat deposited around the belly belt and you know the bust more than the hips and then of course it's apple because that person has that kind of an android uh, kind of shape it doesn't look so fine and it is not just about the issue of not looking so fine it is that people that have more of the android kind of shape they have more health uh, cardiovascular issues and more chronic health disorders, you know, more than people that their own overweight is more around the hips. They have more cardiovascular issues or problems. They could have lungs or respiratory uh, matters or kidney issues because of the excess of fats around them. And then for people that have more fats around the hips, for them, it is more of pressure on the bones. So they end up having a lot of bone pain, hips, uh, joints, and, you know, all of those kind of of pains. Okay, so we'll be going on a very short break and we'll be back after this. Don't go away. Welcome back. Okay, so like I'd been explaining, the Android shape and then the 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 I mean the the Apple shape and a pear shape. I explained for the pear shape, it's about pressure on the bones. The android is about more and more issues from cardiovascular problem, lungs, kidneys, and a whole lot of it. So you see that either way, either way, both sides, if you have excessive uh, accumulation of fats, you need to tone down. You don't need to be perfect, slim, shady. No, but I mean, you just need to enter the ideal weight range. So what is the ideal weight range? And that brings us again to a repetition of that same topic we're talking about. Who told you that you are overweight? For so many people, it is their mirror that tells them. Their mirror tells them that they are overweight. The fact is you must understand that obesity has a whole lot of health issues it brings with it. So many issues it carries like a backpack. Number one, you know that when you are obese, you have more incidences of cardiovascular problems. Why? Because 
too much of uh, fats in the body, especially the bad fats, it could also stimulate more cholesterol clogging the arteries, the arterial wall. And these can, you know, begin to accumulate, get so much that blood cannot flow properly. And when blood cannot flow properly, maybe to the brain or some part of the body, this can cause a kind of stroke. It can cause ischemic stroke. Another one is that there are times when visceral fat, when you're too much overweight like that, fat may accumulate around organs. That is visceral fat around the heart. I remember back then in medical school, there was a time we were, you know, we opened up a cadaver. It was a woman, a woman you know, dead and all of that. So we were scraping fats away. And when we brought out the heart and, and we're scraping, sorry, I hope this doesn't sound too harsh to some people, you know, scraping, scraping fats. I mean, before we could reach the heart, the level of fats we scraped. He wasn't small. And people were like, definitely this person would have had uh art related problems. So you see, uh, the sign of good living that they call excessive fat accumulation, it is actually a sign of bad living. If so many people know what is going on already inside their body, they will eat the gym quickly. They would jog every 30 minutes, three times in a week at least. Yes, because like I said, this accumulation of fat poses a huge health risk to organs in the body. What about the kidneys? What about the lungs? None of them appreciates when you amass a whole lot of fats around them. So it is very, very vital for us to work on our weight. I mean, this weight loss series is a must for everyone, even if you are not overweight, to prevent you from finding yourself in that line, especially if you're from a family history where people are on the chubby side, then you must take this very, very, very seriously. Okay, so I'm going to proceed more about this. We're going to talk in full detail about everything we need to know about weight loss because the next thing I'm going to be touching on is who told you that you are overweight? Who told you that you are overweight? Do not forget that I explained that uh, excessive weight gain is, you know, accumulation of fats is uh, obesity and overweight, and I told you the different types of obesity and um, uh, the Android, uh, the Apple, and the Pear. And then, of course, I explained again the health risk from arthritis to cardiovascular problems to kidney issues to respiratory problems. In fact, it, it, it uh, part of you know the outbreak of COVID. 90% of those, I mean, within this dark climb, the traffic here that had issues with it, tended towards being overweight and obese. So you see that overweight and obese does not add good thing to our body. Rather, it puts us at the forefront of a whole lot of ailments, disease, and death if care is not taken. This is a good point for me to wrap up the show. Till we meet, same time, same one and ride, and same me. You go, eat to live, and don't leave to eat. Bye for now.